everyone, this is Holly Mashian, founder of Mash Gallery. Today I want to talk about the do's and don'ts of uh, submitting your work to a gallery. Um, I often get a lot of submission and I notice the ones that grab the most attention are as follows. First and foremost, have your best images possible, high res images, and they should be all organized in a very easy way to access them. You'll be surprised how many times you have to go after Google Drive folders and trying to get permission to open it, so nobody has time for that, so be very organized and succinct about that. Number two, be polite. It's like um, human relationship, like any, anything else. Don't be presumptuous and don't think that because you submitted your work, it should get accepted immediately. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. It's nothing personal and also to be personable, but not over the top flattering because it kind of has the opposite effect. Be real, be authentic, and also have manners. You'll be surprised sometimes, even over the email, you can see that somebody is presum presumptuous or just not very polite. And nobody wants to work with a person that can be problematic in the future, even if you are the best artist. So human relationship goes a long way in that. Number three, have a cohesive body of work. Don't submit your work with three pieces and say, oh, by the way, I did these three pieces and I want to show at the gallery. It's just not a very good look and it's not a very professional look. So um, don't fall in love with your work immediately. Really explore and make sure that you have a cohesive body of work that can tell a story or can talk to your art practice. This is especially true for American artists. 